I didn't know when I was a child that I was going to be an artist. It never occurred to me that that was um, a real possibility, although I always loved art. In fact, my earliest memories of art was when I cut all the paintings out of the World Book Encyclopedia that my parents had just bought for me so I could have them more readily on view. Got into big trouble for that. But, um, but I grew up in the panhandle of Texas and um, my father was in the military so we traveled a lot. We lived in Germany for a while and I, I got to go to some museums there when I was a kid. So it's always something that I've been interested in, but it never occurred to me it was something that a person could do, especially a woman could do. Well, I'm interested in um, humanity, and I guess that's really the motivating factor in making art. Archaeology, of course, is just a record of that. Um, I've, I've been on some digs. I've, done a lot of research and gone to exotic places looking for things of interest to me and the forms that I make. Um, these large bronze sculptures here are, they're all part of a larger series called the Hebrides series and they're to do with um, the Outer Hebrides in Scotland um, where there are a lot of standing stones, a lot of um, mounds, a lot of burial sites that are very compelling I think. Um, our personal lineage is of interest to me. I think that's how things get passed along. That's how information is passed along from one generation to another, one eon to another. Some of the materials I use are dictated by things that are found. I mean, there's certainly a lot more uh, technology-based uh, things that are available, materials that are available now that I'm not so interested in using. Even though it might define this time a little bit more, I like the idea of this kind of um, the thread that runs through. So. If you, if you go on, a, on an archaeological dig, you might find um, bronze works. You might find, more likely, you'd find clay works. Something about the resistance of clay to entropy is, is really uh, potent. So I have a, an abiding interest in ceramics. A lot of work that I make is, is in ceramics now, and it's a sort of a uh, homage to that human tradition of working with something as basic as earth itself. I often think about those people, the early makers. If you find something, and it doesn't matter if you find it in the earth, in some obscure location, or if you find it in a museum, but there's something about the proximity of art, and suddenly you're confronted with another person, another human being. Someone made this, someone had to make this, someone needed to make this, and that's what interests me because it's such a, a primal need to make. The will to make is one of the most um, human characteristics that, that I can think of. And it's really that connection, that connection with other, other makers that fuels me. Finding something, holding it in your hand that someone made, you know, 20,000 years ago is an amazing occurrence. I, I love the idea that, you know, 
one of these sculptures is going to be dug up one day and someone's going to come upon it in the same way that I come upon things and they're going to go, this, I know this person just by being in the presence of that object. I'm interested in absolute space, the Newtonian idea of absolute space and what, what an object does within, within this space, how it, how it exists in the world, what it describes, what, um, what kind of uh, connotation it has, what kind of emotional message that it's sending out. I almost always start with a really good idea of what a piece is going to look like. I was really clear in my mind exactly what this is going to be. And then you start working it, and as you work it, it just changes and becomes its own thing. So you have, I have then, a real working relationship with an object. And it develops over time in the way any relationship develops over time. And there's a moment when it's done, and there's always this question when you're teaching students, they want to know, well, when is, how do I know when it's done? You know, and you just, you just know when it's done, and suddenly your relationship is then changed with it forever. I believe in art because it moves me in a way that nothing else can move me. There's everything I know, I know from art ultimately because that's where all the theories, all the music, all the other art, every person you've met, it all comes to bear in one moment of making. 